The ball is back in Barangay Hinebra's court after they took down the Meralco Bulls 92-84, taking a 2-1 series lead in the PBA Governor's Cup Finals. Japet Aguilar once again ran wild for Barangay Hinebra on both ends of the floor. And to make matters worse for Meralco, Meralco suffered the loss of Raymond Almasan due to a possible knee injury. Now with us to talk about the impact of those two players, Japet and uh, Rakadol Almasan, let's talk to CBC Carl Brian Cruz and Coach Topix Robinson. Gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the score. Yeah. Magandang, uh, magandang araw. Okay, uh, big uh, impact for these two players. So unahin natin si Raymond Almasan. <coughs> Siyempre, nakakalungkot. Every time, any time we see a player get hurt, doesn't matter what the team. Yeah. And itong itong uh, impending injury ni Almasan, uh, gano kalakin bagay to for Meralco? Well, uh, hopefully, uh, it's nothing serious for for Raymond. And remember, going back to the series, you know, yun yung pinag usapan na biggest factors Raymond Almasan because for the past two finals that they met, wala silang ganong uh, player. So napakalaki why offensively. Uh, Besides Durham, he's the next uh, big big thing for for Meralco. For the past two games, he's been scoring double figures. Hindi lang yun yung impact niya rin defensively. So it's gonna be a big task for uh, Meralco and Coach Norman to fill the void that uh, Raymond will be left out just in case he won't be able to play in game. Papano Brian, kung itong si Raymond, uh, sana hindi. But kung sa kaling yung injury, medyo malubha na kailangan niya ipahinga. For the remainder of the series, paano meral ko? Anong impact niyan sa pag-asa nila to win a championship? Uh, malaking impact ng pagkawala talaga ni Raymond, lalo na yung game kagabi. Ayun. Obviously naman, nahirapan talaga yung meral ko na depensahan si Japet, lalo na sa rebounding at sa inside presence. So ayun, he's a really big factor talaga sa upcoming games. Oh, kasi ang mangyayari niyan, pag wala itong almasan, Sino kaninong trabaho ang bibigat for the doon sa Meralco Bigs? Uh, defensively uh, uh and doon pa rin naman si uh, Faundo, Brian Faundo. Uh, we saw a glimpse of uh, Reynel Hugnatan doon. Uh, I guess there's the, they're the only two big guys that I could see. Cliff Hodge has been playing more minutes now. So but again, ang titingnan mo kasi sino ba yung nandoon sa kabila? I mean, there's a big disp uh, disparity kasi Uh, kung sino yung mga makakatapat nila defensively. Offensively, yun ang problema rin. For, for the longest time, it's been Durham all the way. So, walang masyadong local uh, support. Yun na nga, si Raymond na nga. But now, since that he's not there, so that's gonna be a big problem for Meralco. Ayun din, uh, big credit din, din kay Brian Fawondo for stepping up. Pero, it's really hard to sustain yung pinuproduce ni Raymond sa game talaga, lalo ng second half. Napagod na lahat eh, mga Pilipino. So, kumbaga, napagod na rin si Durham, kakadepensa. So, wala talaga yung makapagbalit ng effort. So, bibigat trabaho ni Durham, bibigat trabaho ni Faundo, bibigat trabaho ni the entire front line because the reason why kinuha mo yung Raymond Almasan mm. is para may pagtapat ka. To in particular, kay Japet Aguilar and, yes. and si Japet has been playing really well. So yeah. the theory is, pag nawala yung Almasan for the remainder of the series, eh di lalo pang tataas yes. Yes. yung ginagawa ni Japet. Iyon nga yung malaking problema because nung nandun si Raymond, eh, and laki, we were talking about nga, he's one of kumbaga, big candidates, if ever, he never will win the championship to be the finals MVP. Eh, ngayong nawala pa yon. So now, you could also work on having uh, a Greg Slaughter, uh, their big three, Greg, Japet, and uh, Justin Brownlee playing together. Kasi nga, the problem now with with uh, Miralco, they won game two because they, went, they they shot well from the outside. Pero he never still stuck to the system that not allowing any high percentage shots. So yun nga yun ang problema ng Miralco. And yun, tsaka kagabi, nung nawala talaga si Raymond, nakita ko si Javid, very comfortable siya maglaro. He's Kasi para, all throughout. Ba bakit siya naging comf comfortable? Bakit tumaas yung kumpiyansa niya na, uy, wala yung almasan? Ayun na, ah, karamihan kasi mismatches sa kanya. Mm -hmm. Kasi siya lang talaga yung pinakamalaki sa floor eh. Mm -hmm. Wala talaga makatapad sa, kan sa kanya sa Meralco. So kumbaga, napakadali lang, lalo na sa offensive rebound, hirap na hirap talaga yung Meralco sa kanya. Yeah, yun na nabanggit ka hapon ni, ni Javid on his interview na, Secondary defender ako eh. So who is he guarding? That was yeah. that's supposed to be Raymond Almasan. Now, again, Brian found us there, Raynal Hognatan is there, but mas lalo siya ngayon magkakaroon ng mag magiging solid health defender kasi nga lesser threat. Again, nothing against Brian and, and ano, but compared to Raymond Almasan, who could shoot well from the outside, 
because of game one, he shot well. So ngayon, mas magiging mahirap for Durham kasi nga, pwede nang mag-stay talaga si Japet dun sa pink, which is, he had seven blocks. Oh. Yeah, so that's that's a big number. So now, it could also add more. So yun yung magiging problema talaga now ng, ng Meralco. Sino bang makakatulong kay Durham since wala nga si Raymond Almasan? And hopefully, he's, he'll be back for game four. Oh, dati kasi, he has to play Anis. Mm-hmm, yeah. Almasan yun, di mo pwede yun. May tira sa labas yun. Eh. Di ba? Seven blocks. Para ikaw lang, Brian. <laughs> Seven well, blocks. Hanggang Seven one block lang kaya ko. <laughs> Swerte na ako makaisa. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> pero ang, ang uh, nakakaano yun na nakakabahala yun na if you're Meralco, you're Coach Norman, and yung Japet, Help lang lang help. help lang, abang help, lang lang abang dun sa ilalim. Yan nga. Uh, yun, nawala rin sa Meralco yung ano, inside points yung mga drop passes. Mm-hmm. Nung game 1, game 2, malaking factor yung kay Raymond. Eh, mga drop passes, puro mga dunks yung sa ilalim. Mm-hmm. Talagang nahirapan yung Meralco dun. Okay, so tingnan natin kung talagang mahirapan yung Meralco or if they can do something about this. And hopefully nga, uh, kay Raymond, yeah. eh, yung injury, sana yeah. hindi siya... Uh, serious, uh, serious Sana, injury. Sorry. All right, thank you very much, Coach Topex and Mr. CBC. Thank you, thank salamat, you. Salamat, salamat. Up next, guess who's back? Back again, Swaggy D is back in the UAP. Are we going to see the recent fashion icon bring back the crown for the green and white? We'll sit down with the newest head coach of the Dallas Star Green Archers, Manong Derek Pomarin, when the score returns.